Hey guys, I'm back with another Cheetah 3D quick tip and um, we're going to talk about pivot mode today. Um, I've just got very crude beginnings of an alarm clock here. Uh, something where I think you might kind of need to use pivot mode. I'll show you what it's for, what you can do with it and when it comes in pretty handy. So I've got the body of what is a, a bit of a naff alarm clock but that doesn't matter, it's only a demo file. Um, and the start of one of the legs which I've just positioned above so pivot mode comes in really handy when you want to position an object and you want it to be kind of positioned, you want to rotate it around a different point than its, than its centre point. So I'll show you how to do that now. So the first thing I'll probably do is position that leg it's roughly. It's actually touching the part that we need it to touch. Okay, that's great. I'll then come into front mode, front view, should I say. And I'm going to go into pivot mode up here, which is this icon here. Make sure I've got the right object selected. So we're now in pivot mode. So as I move this down to the center axis, I'm actually going to turn off the body of the clock. Just so I can get this exactly right. I'm going to zoom right in here. Just drag that pivot point up. And then I'm going to exit pivot mode. So that's done now. That center point for that object is now way down here. In our scene, it's the center point of the whole scene, which is what we wanted. I'm just going to turn the body back on. So now, what we can do when we use rotate on this object is rotate it around the body, which is exactly what we want. So I might have one leg. Let's have a look there, like that. Minus one four two. I'm just going to copy and paste this one. I should really call it leg, so we know where we are. Copy, paste, so let's paste it in the exact same position. Remove that zip minus, and there we go. So it's just a really good way rather than kind of just winging it and just positioning it normally um, to get things positioned exactly as you want. So I hope you find that useful. Don't forget to exit pivot mode when you finish with it, go back into object mode. But yeah, if I copy and paste them around, we are done. Good to go. Cool. Hope you find it useful anyway, guys. Thanks for watching.